Hello and welcome to another Selectronic Technical Installation video. This time we're covering the SP Pro Series 2i inverter. Firstly, carefully unpack the contents of the box, which includes the white manual bag, aluminium mounting bracket, and of course the SP Pro inverter. Inside the manual bag, you will have the following. A checklist form, warranty card, know your SP Pro user poster, the instruction manual, and a tool bag. Before securing the mounting bracket, ensure that you leave a minimum of 150 millimeters clearance from the top, bottom, and sides. Please refer to the instruction manual for suitable locations and additional preparation information. Finally, ensure the mounting bracket is level before securing it to the wall. Next, mount the SP Pro by hooking the top of the inverter over the bracket projections. Then, gently lower it into position by holding the top and bottom of the inverter to avoid injury. With the T25 Torx bit provided in the tool bag, unscrew and remove the lower access cover also removing the gland bag and gland plate bag. With the T20 Torx bit provided in the tool bag, remove the terminal cover. Use a screwdriver to lever out the pre-scored holes in the gland plate. Only remove the number of holes that you need. Then use pliers to pull out the scored holes. Next, fit the conduit glands into place on the correct side of the gland plate using the locking nuts. Next, pull through all wiring and thread through the gland holes. Unscrew the clamps at terminals B plus and B minus, and please ensure that they are fully open. Use the wiring information label to ensure that all wires meet cable strip length requirements with a neat finish. In this case, 28 millimeters for the two DC cables. Feed in the DC cables and clamp tightly into place. Please note that wire insulation does not enter into any terminals or circuit breaker clamps for any wiring in the SP Pro. Use the M5 16mm screws from the gland plate bag to secure the gland plate into the inverter. Then, complete the remaining wiring connections into the other terminal clamps. Please note that the earth symbol is clearly indicated to ensure that you connect the earth to this point. Go back and ensure that terminals B plus and B minus are tightly secured. Then tighten all conduit glands. Reattach the terminal cover loosely using the T20 Torx bit provided. Install wires into expansion card for generator control, external contactor or others as required. Fit cables into the black communications card for sync, CAN bus, and Selectronic Certified Inverter as required. Turn on the AC source from the grid or generator to get a feed through of power from the source to the load. You should get the blue lights on the control panel to show this occurring. Then you can turn off the AC source. Please tighten and secure the terminal plate, ensuring not to miss the screw in the lower right corner. Use the T25 Torx bit provided in the tool bag. Turn on the battery system, and if the power is OK, the pre-charge light will be on. You will now get a flashing red light on the power position on the control panel. This indicates that the SP Pro needs to be configured in SP Link. Connect the SP Pro to your laptop device. Please note that uh, Windows platforms are only supported, and connect to your SP Pro. Please then follow the site configuration wizard in SP Link to complete the setup of the SP Pro. Once finished, you will get a flashing yellow light at the power position on the control panel. Press it to turn on the SP Pro to get a green light flashing at first before turning solid. 
Reattach the lower access cover with the T25 Torx bit provided and then mount the Know Your SP Pro poster close to the inverter. Don't forget to register the warranty online as soon as possible to ensure your customer receives the maximum warranty duration. Please refer to our website for the latest information. Congratulations, you have completed the setup of the SP Pro inverter. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to check out our YouTube channel for other technical installation videos and much more.